Good day. My name is Mark Mulder. I'm an attorney here in Riverside, California. Got a number of clients in, in Needles, California, dealing with the mechanics liens, either contractors trying to get paid on projects or homeowners uh, trying to fight off contractors trying to get paid for uh, monies they're not entitled to. So I thought it helpful to put together a, a small video on mechanics liens to help you with some of the issues that I see in my office all the time. What might those be? Well, the first question you want to ask yourself is, am I in direct contract with the owner of the project? Whether it's a commercial project or a homeowner project, you want to make sure that you're in direct contractual privity with the owner of the property. If not, you've got to uh, serve what's called a 20-day preliminary notice within the first 20 days of you appearing on the project. Whether that's putting materials on the job or starting work, you want to make sure that you serve that 20-day preliminary notice because that helps you capture all the costs from the start of work forward in your mechanics lien. Now, assuming you have uh, no contract with the owner of the property, you want to serve that mechanics lien certified mail return receipt requested on the owner of the property, on the lender, if any, on the property, and the general contractor on the property. And doing so allows you to then file a mechanics lien. Now, when do you have to file a mechanics lien? Well, within 90 days after you leave the project, You've got to record your mechanics lien in the county where the property is located. So assuming you've done the work, completed the work, maybe you go back to do some touch-up items or whatnot, the last time you were at the property doing work on that contract is the last time that that 90 days will run. So 90 days from your last time on the project, you record the mechanics lien within that 90 days. Don't wait till the 90th day, try to do it earlier. And once you record the mechanics lien, now we start the time frame for something called for closing on the mechanics lien. What does that mean? That means that we have to file an action in Superior Court to foreclose on your mechanics lien rights. And that lawsuit has to be filed in the Superior Court within 90 days of the recording of the mechanics lien. Now, assuming you followed all those time steps that I've given you, uh, your mechanics lien will be valid and you, you can fight for those monies against the owner of the project. If you're an owner of the property and the contractor hasn't followed those steps, then you have a means under a summary motion in the civil code for expunging the mechanics lien from the record, assuming the uh, contractor once notified doesn't do so voluntarily. And if they don't do so voluntarily, they can be subject to your attorney's fees for having to file such a motion. Uh, anyway, those are some of the things you need to think about. If you've got some particular circumstances you want to discuss with me, I'm more than happy to sit down with you, call my office and make an appointment, and, and I'd be happy to talk with you about your particular situation.